Hey guys, so I'm finally showing you my makeup collection and storage. It's been a long time coming. So just basically showing you the stuff that I have at the moment and just how I store them. This is a temporary situation, so it might not be your ideal storage way. This is just how I could do it for the room that I'm in right now. So I'm just gonna show you everything. I'm gonna start off with this window area. Uh, the room has two windows and it's on one side of the room, so I felt like I should just put my makeup stuff on here where the natural light comes in. So we'll start off with this, two sets of acrylic boxes stacked together to give you the four, and they're from Muji. So most of the stuff I'm gonna show you are gonna be from Muji, but I'll let you know if they're not. And then on top of that, I have my MAC lipsticks. I've been collecting these for over three or four years, so I have quite a few that I've accumulated. And in all honesty, I kind of don't reach for them as much as I do now, because I'm really obsessed with like liquid lipsticks and trying new, new, new brands. So in the first drawer I have my primers, so these are face and eye primers. I have honestly quite a few, we've got this one from Kiehl's. This was recommended by Gloss Makeup Artist, it's the Micro Blur Skin Perfector but it was a fail. Some next one, some LA Girl, got some eye primers, this is an LA Girl Pro eye primer. Uh, we have this blot paper from Sephora, we have a few from Smashbox, this is the oil free photo finish. In this drawer I have some more of the primers that didn't fit in that drawer and I have a foundation. This is in the shade New Orleans. It's a bit too light for me. I initially bought this with the Benares shade, uh, but Benares is a lot closer. Though it's orange, I mix that with the Makeup Forever. And then these are all my backups of the Fawn shade for the LA Girl Pro Concealers because that's my, my favourite. This is That one is um, Toast. And then in the back here I actually have the Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called, the retoucher. I got this while I was at a shoot with her a few months back and yeah, I haven't tried it out yet but it's quite a, kind of similar to my under eye concealer shade so I will try that soon. The next drawer just has some mascaras and this foundation I was really looking forward to trying. I got my friend to get it for me when he was in LA but it doesn't not my shade, it's shade 114 but it's still too light for me so I haven't been able to use it so I just store it in there and probably should sell it. Then I have a spare one of the NARS Radiant Concealers. Mascaras, we have one from Tarte and a bunch of other ones. This, what's this one? Oh this is also a Charlotte Tilbury one as well. We've got some samples, we've got some, um, the Roller Lash by Benefit. I'm currently using the Benefit there real, it's pretty good. Then we have some gel liners. This was the one from Wet n Wild I used to use a long time ago that I absolutely loved. Uh, this one, I don't remember the brand because it's rubbed off. Um, I also use this a lot as well. But this is also another gel liner but by Inglot. It's a red one and I kind of just use it as a base for my eyeshadow from doing like a dark red you know, eyeshadow. In this next one we have some blushes. These are just some MAC blushes. This one is meant to be like a highlighter kind of shade and I got this at a duty free. It's like, it gives like a very subtle highlight, which is quite nice, but I don't actually reach for it as much. Um, this, this one is Fever and then I just have a, and I have a cream blush by NYX. And then in the back we have some Charlotte Tilbury powders. These are just, uh, this is just like a flawless finish powder. Um, obviously too light for me. This is in the sh this is in the shade dark three, so probably like an under eye setting powder. And this one is a blush, I believe. It's like a cheek to cheek blush. Looks like that. And this is Fashion Fair. I think this is also a blush. I can actually open it. It's one of those. I think it's like a um, oil control pressed powder. And then we just move along. I just have my lip pencils. I put them in these little pots. I had I don't have anything fancy right now, so for now they just have to stay and live in here. I have a bunch of them. These are just like ones from NYX, MAC, LA Girl, some random Rimmel ones that I've just collected over time. And just the taller ones as well. MAC, NYX, uh, Smashbox and that sort of thing. So this mirror I got from TK Maxx. It was about $12.99, I really like the handle. And then on the corner I just have some brushes, well not some, quite a few brushes. Once the ones I use on a daily basis are dirty, I just go in the back and pick from them. So I've got a bunch, um, I'm just going to try and move this, I'm going to move this 
straightforward. So these pots are actually plant pots which are from Ikea. I feel like they looked a lot better as brush holders than plant pots. But they're like two or three pounds and you can get low. I got loads of them, quite a few of them to store my brushes. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five small ones. And then at the back, I have a bigger one. I'm not quite sure. I think it's probably four or five pounds. Pretty, pretty affordable from Ikea. So I've just got a bunch of MAC, Sigma, and right at the back I have um, and right at the back I have some makeup addiction ones, the coloured feral, uh, just some eye brushes, face brushes and then the taller brushes at the back. I did mention at the corner at the side I have a MAC palette. This one is the one I don't really use as much. Um, I have another one which I use on an everyday basis, like my neutral palette. So this is just a bunch of other colors that I've picked up. So I just store them in this palette. This is the old palette that they used to have. And then this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, the original one, before she came out with the individuals. And moving down, I have this kind of lipstick, lip gloss holder. I think this was from eBay or um, Amazon. You can get them from either place. So here we just have a bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses that didn't really fit anywhere. On the side we have some um, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Uh, this is just a pretty one. What's this one called? Lost Cheppy? Oh, <laughs> Lost Cherry. My favorite one out of the one I have is this one. This is called Bond Girl. Bond girl, ah! which I just dropped. And then these are Sasha Cosmetic lipsticks. These are just some extra, these are some NYX Mega Shine lip glosses that, that I've probably used and haven't been able to put back into the lip gloss drawer. And then these are some Gerard Cosmetic lip glosses as well. Uh, these ones here. And then these ones are Smashbox and a couple of the lipsticks that didn't fit in the lipstick drawer. And this is a Sasha Cosmetics blush. It's pretty, pretty dark. It's meant to be like a blush, but it's very dark. So probably more suitable for like contouring. And it's just there, I didn't really put it somewhere. I didn't put it anywhere. I'm just gonna swing along to this side. This is pretty much my everyday face stuff. So we have the foundations that I use on the daily. This is the Makeup Forever HD and the NARS Luminous. Then we have my powders. Uh, since being back from holiday, I've kind of tanned a little bit like my body, so I have to make my face a little bit darker. So I've been mixing the Topaz, Ben Nye Topaz with the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup powders, just to kind of, kind of turn it down a little bit. This is my sunblock, which I use as a moisturizer before I apply my uh, makeup. We have the Bioderma, which I use to take off my makeup after using my wipes. Got some Fix Plus, we have the Milk of Magnesia as well. This is the primer, the Becca primer, Paula's primer. To be honest, it doesn't really do the best job in terms of keeping me matte. So I do actually use, still use my Milk of Magnesia. I know a lot of you are saying that it doesn't really, it's not good for your skin, but honestly, like, <laughs> if something works for you, like, I'm just gonna keep using it, especially in the summer months. Maybe not for winter, but right now, it's kind of highly necessary. And these are just my brushes that I use on a daily basis, so I just keep them here, and then if they get dirty, I then reach for the ones at the back. So moving down, I have some more acrylic drawers. I have 10 sets of two drawers, so that's 20 drawers. So I'm gonna start with the right-hand side, which is like the face stuff. So in the first drawer we have foundation. So these are the ones I don't use on a regular that I have tried before. These are the NARS Sheer Glow, Revlon Colorstay, L'Oreal True Match, Mega Forever Matte Velvet, Lancome, uh, Maybelline Fit Me, but it's for dry skin so it doesn't suit me. Got the Sleek CC Cream, uh, it's just not, not good coverage for me. And then got the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation at the back. In this drawer I have concealers. These are literally all my um, LA Girl Pro concealers. I have literally all the shades, so I just store them in here if I want to use it for clients and stuff. I have some MAC ones, just mini like samples. In this drawer we have blushes, so I have all these sleek blushes, literally all of them. I've been collecting them for a while, so I pretty much was able to accumulate them. Um, I have a, a NARS one and I have a bunch of NYX ones right at the back, uh, an e.l.f. one and a couple of Milani. In this one we have some more blushes, these are the sleek 
uh, blush by three, so the ones that come in three. Uh, these are all. These are the palettes, and we have some sleek eyeshadow palettes that didn't fit in the bottom drawer. And these are Fashion Fair blushes, and this is a Fashion Fair concealer um, kind of palette type thing. These are some sleek palettes, the eyeshadow palettes that come in the twelve shades. I've pretty much collected almost all of them over time so we have some more of them all stacked there uh, I'll show you one I guess I can show you another one just to show you some really cool ow it's a really cool one this is the Rio Rio palette it's limited edition and we have some more sleek palettes and then this drawer has some Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes eyeshadow quads um, I'll just show you a couple I don't know why I have slept on this brand because I just kind of assumed that she didn't really cater to like dark skinned people but um, if this was actually focused so we've got some really cute she's got some really pretty shades yeah this is so so pretty I am yet to do a tutorial look at how gorgeous that gold one is that's a sleek lip palette and then these are fashion fair foundations that didn't go up there this drawer has random stuff. This is a Sasha cream to powder foundation. I uh, just have three of their shades, look like that. I have a MAC Beaver Glam palette from the Christmas collection, I think, last year. Uh, a bunch of extra lipsticks. This Kiko palette. I bought the individual eyeshadows and then put them in this palette. This drawer has the Urban Decay 10 24-7 Glide On eye pencils. I just thought I'd leave them in the packaging. And the bottom one has a bunch of um, jumbo pencils, like jumbo eye pencils, um, some eyeliners, some marker, a super skinny marker, eyeliner from NYX, which I haven't used. But um, yeah, just a bunch of eye pencils and like jumbo pencils and stuff. And then moving to this side, the first drawer has some Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Can't believe how long ago these were out for and they were so popular. Yeah, so just a bunch of different colours, eight pan ones and six pan ones. This tray has lipstick, so these are, I believe, the Wet n Wild ones, the bottom. These are Fashion Fair, these three are um, Makeup Geek and then these are just Barry M ones. Next one, have more lipsticks, these are sleek ones. The ones at the back are the NYX matte lipstick, NYX butter lipsticks and then the back there next round one it should collect all the ones from sleek they do amazing lipsticks if you haven't tried them i would suggest you do so because they're very affordable and very very good and very long wearing this next one i need help opening because it's jam-packed full of more lipsticks i think these are my nudes in like nude pink ones these are all different brands revlon rimmel maybelline nyx these are literally all my drugstore nudes there are a bunch of colors that shouldn't actually be in there but i just kind of shoved them shoved them all in in there you have to push that in and these are just some more drugstore so these are so these are like the new this is like the bright pinks reds We've got a bunch of um sleek pout paints occ lip tars in there as well so the next drawer are for lip glosses i have a bunch of them uh sleek we've got some nyx right at the back got some mac ones some nyx ones uh this is a Charlotte Tilbury. This is a Charlotte Tilbury one, really pretty. And she told me that this was the one. This is um, Naomi Campbell's favorite, and it is called Sweet Stiletto. Really, really pretty nude pink shade. It's just literally different drugstore eyeshadows. We have Kiko, Rimmel, L'Oreal, and well, this is a Bobbi Brown one. Uh, this is a backup of the Corrupt Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. I definitely had to have get some backups for that. The next drawers are the 24 hour Maybelline color tattoos and a bunch of gel liners. These are ones from, I think they're from Makeup Geek. Uh, this is from Sigma actually, but the smaller ones, these ones are from Makeup Geek. Then we have some pigments. We have some sugar pill, Makeup Geek, and we have a bunch of glitter, lots and lots of glitter. And then the bottom drawer has uh, eyeliner pencils, eye pencils, coloured pencils, glitter, uh, glitter liners and just some more glitter. In the corner I have some lashes because I don't know where else to put them. And the back there I just have my makeup wipe. Move on to the first drawer. I'm not quite sure what happened at the top. It just won't, it won't, like it won't come off. But anyway, this is the first drawer we have. As you can see we have, I'm going to just push that out a bit more. 
we have ooh, lots and lots of nice colors so we have the LA girl glazed lip paint all around here we have the whole collection and then we have the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks uh, I've actually ordered some more so I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put them and then we have sleek the sleek matte me liquid lipsticks and a couple a couple of the ones from anyway as well in this drawer we have a bunch of more liquid lipsticks so these ones are the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones we have a couple from Dose of Colors this one's in the shade Bury Me and I have another one in the back there I have one from Lime Crime Salem and I have three from Colored Rain I have Mars I think this is 24-7 and the old famous Rain Fever, which everybody was really wanting and it got sold out, but I think it's back in stock now. Also ordered a couple more from Anastasia Beverly Hills, don't judge me, they looked nice on Instagram. And think about these boxes, they come with dividers so you can actually put them in between to kind of separate the stuff out. So on this side we have some dried cosmetics, lipsticks at the back, the gold ones, we have some lime crime ones, these are the Milani matte um, lipsticks but they weren't that matte they're, they're more on the like the creamy side so I just got a couple good thing I didn't get the whole collection because I would have been very disappointed and then these are just some random like this is some random lip product this is like a this is the Revlon color burst one it's the only color I actually liked and a bunch of other ones I have the NARS velvet matte lip and just some other random kind of jumbo lip products in this tray, I haven't really sorted it out as well as I should have, I could have done. And um, we have some ColourPop eyeshadows there. Got some Charlotte Tilbury um, like cream eyeshadows. And this is actually a lip balm. Um, yeah, I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, a lip magic lip balm. On the right side, we have some powders. LA Girl Pro Powder. I have the Laura Mercier. Uh, setting powder as well which I haven't actually used in a very long time. This is the Kiko eyeshadow that um, we're using as a highlight, the 20, what is it, 208. have a couple back there. This is a Charlotte Tilbury, like I think it's like a cream kind of blush type thing. I think you can use it as a lipstick as well. I have an extra uh, Covergirl bronzer and Ebony bronze. We have LA Girl Correctors. Uh, this is the NYX Wonder Stick in deep and that's that. The next drawer we have lashes. These are the box, my box lashes, the one that come in boxes. Some Esquito, uh, Colored Rain, some Juvia's Place ones, so I just store them here. We have some more of the Sasha Cosmetic powders. They have the, have the um, Ben Nye Banana Powder. And then the final drawer are lashes. I have a bunch of lashes. Uh, so just random, we have some uh, Red Cherry, Whitney Marie, Bella Minx. I did have some Coco ones, but I probably use them all. Joseph Colors, some random ones as well. So I just literally just store them all in this tray. This is one of my bedside tables, but I decided to use it as a storage um, little drawer thing and it's brown I would have loved it if it was white it's gonna go with the rest of the room but it, this was what came with the room came with the house so it's brown so in here I store all my palettes as you can see so in the first drawer I have all my palettes I'm just gonna quickly run through them because it's quite a bit so yeah this is my MAC palette that I was talking about my neutrals palette I just have which is what I use on an everyday basis next one are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which I also kind of started using too. So it has a bunch of really cool colors. I have some foiled ones in the corner, so those are pretty good. Got Morphe, Morphe brushes, the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I dropped the other day and it kind of cracked in the corner, as I usually do with all my palettes. So we just have some VH Cosmetics. Uh, we have Sleek palette, I'm not sure what that palette is actually. An Inglot eyeshadow palette. Uh, these are a couple of sleek ones, where at the back we have, I think this might be, oh, I think this might be Tarte, yeah this is Tarte, it's really cute, really pretty matte eyeshadows, some BH Cosmetics ones, uh, this is a Too Faced one, which I got during the Christmas period last year, oh, this is the, we know the, the Urban Decay Vice 
Just vice two palette. Yeah, vice two palette. So literally just stack them all in there. These are a but these are some LA Girl ones, and that's a Sigma one. This one is a Tarte one as well. Pretty much how I store my eye palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Second one just has a bunch of um, brush sets that I have not used. This is one of the new Zoeva ones, the Zoeva Rose Gold brush set. This is a lip palette by Beach Cosmetics that doesn't fit up there. Some brush belts. Uh, this is the Leading Lashes uh, Bridal Collection lashes, like that. Really, really pretty, pretty lashes. Got a bunch of extra ones in the in there as well. I have the model in the bottle makeup setting spray and just some more like some more like brush sets from BH Cosmetics. The bottom drawer does not need to be seen because it's full of junk and I haven't actually like sorted it out. Just got a bunch of like extra stuff, any um, duplicates, backups, powders. This is actually where I put some clothes in. The the last three drawers are for clothes. Well, this the. the the two middle ones are closed, bottom one is like electrical stuff, wires, cables, um, sanitary stuff, girl stuff. And so I'm just going to show you what's on the top really quickly. So on the top we just have this situation going on here. This is the last of my makeup collection. So we have, these are the Colourpop Lippy Sticks and Lippy Pencils, which are in the uh, IKEA plant pots. And then we have the new Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in there as well and it's a good thing I didn't get the whole collection because it, it won't fit anymore in here so I just kind of put them in here. They were initially in drawers but I like that I can actually see them like this, see the colours like this. This is just mascara uh, hand cream, I just thought the colours looked nice. And then this I got from Greece when I went to Crete just a couple weeks ago. We have another set of the acrylic drawers. Uh, the two drawers. This one has the first one has the LA Girl matte flat finish pigment glosses. So literally all of them, all 16 of them. In this one we have the LA Splash liquid lipsticks. I haven't actually talked about this or shown it in a video. I have from the three the three collections. I have the lip coutures, the lip tint smitten lip tint, and then the Studio Shine lip lusters as well. So. Uh, maybe I should probably do a video on this, I'd probably like a review uh, slash lip swatch video. But honestly, I'm, I'm so behind on my lip swatch videos. I have the ultra matte one to do, um, the Colourpop one up there. So I will do this one as well and just give you my thoughts on it if you haven't tried them out yet. And here we have what looks like a book but it's actually a mirror and it's from Benefit and we got this during um, Beauty Con, it's really pretty so I really like how it is in the front so I kind of leave it and I kind of use it as a display type thing. And then moving here at the back we have this kind of carousel looking thing, it's from Too Faced but it's got like different eyeshadow palettes in there and I just have a bunch of Victoria's Secret Body Mist and some perfumes. And then we have this nail polish rack which I got from Amazon. I don't really do much nail polishing, that's the word. So I just have a bunch of them which I just put there for display because it's nice and colourful. And then this kind of like glass bowl type thing which I put all my rings and just because it looks nice and colourful. I might move it from there but for now it's just going to go there. Didn't show Anastasia, um, literally all my palettes, honestly I'm not one of those people who clean their palettes after they use it so you're gonna just gonna see you're just gonna see loads of really filthy palettes but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills individual contour palettes that um, I bought individually actually my go-to contour um, powders and stuff so I wanted to show you that so yeah that is basically it for my makeup collection and storage I really hope you like this video I finally did it I know a lot of you've been asking for it the longest time so I really hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys